Okay, so today I'm going to talk about my extended essay cafe of my topic of economics. The outline is so some background information about the theme park market in the United States is that the amusement parks industry in the US market research report of 2014 to 2019. According to this research report, the amusement park industry has experienced strong growth over the five years to 2019, largely driven by an increase in international and domestic visitor numbers and rising consumer spending. Although the industry is highly competitive with five major players dominating the industry, the major amusement park op Operators have used their intellectual property rights to major film fr franchises and entertainment to their advantage. Revenue from their guests through sales beyond the cost of admission, including purchases of food, merchandise, and games. As a result of these positive trends, the industry revenue is expected, expected to increase during the current period over the five years to 2024. The industry revenue is forecast to continue rising, but at a slower rate. I'm going to put the research question to what degree is the market structure for theme parks in the United States and oligopoly and how does this affect business performance and market competition. The abstract I'm going to write around 200 to 300 words. This is the summary of the whole essay basically, so I'm going to write this at the end, but Put it at the top okay so basically for the introduction i'm going to answer two key questions first of all why is the topic significant or why does it matter the theme parks are places that are visited by many people around the world the functionality of the theme parks affects people's entertainment the behavior of firms in the theme park markets affects people's lives and it's important to know the industry to predict the market behavior so the other question I'm going to answer is why is this interesting? So ever since I was a little kid, I always enjoyed going to theme parks, even though there are very little in Costa Rica, only Parque Versiones. Uh, I love going to the rides, the roller coasters and the, the other rides. It's very fun. I also have very fun memories of when I was 15 and we went to Universal Studios in Orlando with the friends and we got in like all the rides and ate the food there it was a very mind-blowing experience the theme park market that's available is an existing market where the consumers uh, already spend their money on basically the same goods or services being sold i want to know how prices are going to change in the future and how firms are going to behave okay then comes the hypothesis I'm going to predict what the final results are going to be based on the personal observation. I would argue that the theme park market is an oligopoly because even though there are many theme parks, there are only a few big companies that have the majority market share in the United States. I am also planning on developing more on the other questions needed to be asked like uh, how does this affect the market competition and the behavior of firms. After this will come the basic economic theories, what are the different market structures? So first of all, perfect competition describes a market structure where a large number of firms compete against each other. Monopolistic competition refers to the market structure where a large number of firms, small firms compete against each other. An oligopoly describes a market structure that is dominated by only a small number of firms that results in the state of limited competition. The firms can either compete against each other or collaborate. This is specifically uh, what I'm going to talk about in my extended essay about the theme park market structure, which is basically an oligopoly. I will also define the a monopoly refers to a market structure where a single firm controls the entire market and develop on these ideas. So in my body paragraphs, I'm going to do both primary and secondary research to 
to develop on these paragraphs. Secondary research is one that involves the use of information obtained originally by primary research from like other sites that I visit and gathering data, such as like a borough or a website. Primary research is based on raw data uh, that I myself gather, such as interviews, uh, counting and doing calculations, or also doing surveys. First of all, I'm going to mention the size and number of firms that are in the theme park market uh, and wh why this is an oligopoly. As mentioned before, the oligopoly describes a market structure that is dominated by only a small number of firms. And this results in a limited state of competition and the firms can either compete against each other or collaborate. I will conduct this research by searching in the borough and counting it myself. This would be a secondary research since I'm getting the, the information from other venues. Afterwards, I'm going to talk about the way of competition in the market. I'm going to find the market share by revenue and present this data in pie charts and tables. So th this would be a primary research. Also find the concentration ratio and the oligopolies that have a very high concentration ratios. First, the first one I'm going to find out by how much of the market does the largest firm hold. Then for the second concentration ratio, the two largest firms combined. Then for the third one, the three largest firms combined. And for the fourth ratio, I'm going to combine the four largest firms. Then I'm going to talk about the methods of competition, both price and non-price and uh, Find out which is heavier, figure out if the price, if there's price competition by looking at the profit margins and also how much of the revenue is converted into profits. The higher the profit margin suggests that there's more non-price competition and if there's a lower profit margin, this is a high price competition. Non-price competi competition look for how, how do firms differentiate their products and I'm also going to make a chart of characteristics of products and then state uh, the differentiation of each of these products. Also make customer surveys to find out what is the most impo important factor of, of this area. So this is going to be composed of both primary research and secondary research such as by looking at the profit margins this is the secondary research because it's also it's already found on the internet but the tables and the characteristics i'm going to list this is a primary research and also the customer surveys that are going to be carried out in my conclusion i'm going to answer the question that was the, the main research question that was stated at the start. This question was to what degree is the market structure for theme parks in the United States an oligopoly and how does this affect business performance and market competition. Then after this I'm going to uh, backtrack on what the research I had already found and talk about this. Also talk about how many firms are are there in the market and what's the market share amongst this the theme park market in the United States and also state that there's a very high market share by few firms than by looking at value sheets of different firms. I will also talk about the different concentration ratios that I, I calculated previously as mentioned before and also the high barriers of entry. This is the estimated high set of costs for the market and also talk about the price and non-price competition. After mentioning and developing on this, I will I will say therefore this appears to be an oligopoly, the market structure of theme parks in the United States. In the evaluation, I will talk about the weaknesses in my extended essay after like after after it's done but 
I will stay around six, but for for now, I have already found some some areas in which I will be limited, such as limited data. This is since all the surveys are are just like samples. This is never truly representative of the entire competition, and also it's like a done to a small portion of people and obviously the customer surveys don't cover like every customer that goes to the theme parks obviously i will also another weakness is going to be that i will be disregarding in their competition such as other methods of competition uh, towards the the theme parks in the united states specifically and This touches areas such as other tourism sites or other regions around the world. Uh, since I'm only investigating the market for theme parks in the United States. So there's other indirect competition around the world. Such as this new land in Paris or in Hong Kong. Since these aren't based on the United States. Some of the many challenges I faced through the process of extensively have been uh, such uh, finding out who to interview and also like making arrangements for, for this interview. Since I'm mostly basing my, my research question states that my essay is going to be of the, the theme parks in the United States. This is a very specific market and due to the fact that I live in Costa Rica this is a challenge for me since I need to find out like who to reach out to since I don't have like so many connections in this industry so I need to do this research and therefore therefore after doing the research reach out to the people and make arrangements for interviews Another challenge and is also a weakness that I stated before in the evaluation is that there is limited data since I'm only basing my research on specific areas which in this case is the market for theme parks in the United States. As stated before this also limits my my ability to research since I'm I'm ba I, Uh, myself, I am in Costa Rica, which is a country other than the United States. This also brings me to the idea that uh, my research is mainly based on secondary research. Uh, so I'm going to need to access many sites and documents online to be able to carry out my research. And the primary research will need to be carried out by surveys and interviews. Another challenge that I would have is that I need to learn the economic theories that I'm not familiar with. Since in, in economics class we've only touched the microeconomics, so maybe I will need to expand my knowledge on economic theories that I don't already know and also the concepts such as the the ones mentioned before which i have already researched such as uh, what is a perfect competition monopolistic competition an oligopoly and also what's a monopoly to be able to answer the question the research question that was uh, stated at the start Okay, so some of the plans that I have for the summer are obviously to do more research, both primary and secondary, and make arrangements to be able to do this, and also uh, manage this, like manage my time efficiently to be able to finish the extended essay draft, and also to be able to proofread, proofread this once I have finished, to be able to have a concrete draft. So for my bibliography, these are the citations of some of the sites I have already accessed. 
but I obviously need to do more research and also uh, do the citations for the other sites. And uh, thank you. If you have any questions, you can send me a message.